Hey Internet. Welcome back to another episode of Road to 120 Slayer. We are back in the wilderness again and we are slaying lava. Strike worms. I don't really like them, but I need their souls. It is what it is. I'm not going to be greedy. In the actual first episode, I picked 120, which was a bad move. And I didn't bring any food. That was also a bad move on me right now. So, I'm going to take the safe method. Because on the first episode, when I actually finished recording, I got PK'd. I didn't lose too much, but that's not the point. Like, just finding the bow is hard enough. So what I'm going to do is just take one kill at a time and then bank. If I get PK'd, then I get PK'd. I won't lose too much. In fact, one kill is equal to like uh, all my gear. So, all good. Just, uh, what? Why am I in combat? Okay. I don't have shock. Nope, I can't spell shock. All right. Heart palpitations. Like, I know the wilderness is a, well, excuse the pun, but it's dead content. But on the occasion, there are some PKs out there. Hopefully, we can just get these done real quick. Alright. Okay, 58. So I picked a minimum this time. Okay, it's still good. I think 60 kills is 6 mil, so it's still pretty good. Have my protect item on. Each of these ashes is worth 100k, so it's not bad. Just made 200k by two kills. So yeah, this is the more safe approach. All right. Because you never know. Like, I thought the wilderness was a dead content, but you do get PKers. Yeah. 
pretty simple task. Basically, I just wear black hide and uh, ever a loader. And that's about it. And I use the Hellfire bow found in the wilderness. Nothing special, the bow just alerts all PKs to my location, but it is the highest bow in the game. I'm in combat. What? No. Okay, so what we spent four minutes doing three kills. So we'll do another couple more, maybe three, four more. And that's going to wrap up the episode. I am just always on edge in the wilderness now. So yeah, the builders came yesterday and they fixed our roof. They got to come back again tomorrow. So that's why I didn't host anything yesterday. You may be wondering, why am I beaconing all PKs to my location? Why not just get a simple bow? Well, simple bows don't do enough damage. And... The Hellfire Bow does, does enough damage that I can kill them quick and bank real quick. So it's a trade-off. Okay. Well, if a PK a PKs me, then they PK me. It'll make great content. They're obviously going to bring the best gear in the game to PK because they know that players that are in the wilderness aren't going to risk too much. So they're going to risk it all. That's their logic. But I don't want to be like risking billions of GP. Okay, I know I can get another one, but I don't want to be too greedy. I'm going real cautious right now. It takes a little bit longer, but last time I was PKing, I mean not PKing, I was in the wilderness and I think I was doing about five at a time. And so I lost about two mil just doing five at a time. I thought 5 was a safe number, but no, one at a time. You never know. So glad the dragons don't attack me. 
yeah, every five minutes it alerts all the players in the wilderness that I'm here. So come at me. But actually don't. Don't, don't come at me. I just want to do my Slayer task. It's like, give me the soul. I got the shadow creature soul from last episode, which was great. Don't know what that is, but we're going to take it and run. So, Searing Ashes are 97k. It's way too predictable how I move. It's a good thing there's a bank right near the wilderness strike worms or the lava strike worms. Okay. What else can I say? Also, finding the fire, uh, hellfire bow is such a pain. Like, even with the wilderness sword tier 4. Sometimes people just pick it up and drop it at a random place, which is annoying, because I, I need it. Why would you do this? get greedy. Never get greedy. The aim of the game is to survive, get this quest done, or not quest, get this Slayer task done, hopefully get a soul. I know I can spend 5 mil and increase my chances, but if I get PK, that's 5 mil gone. I don't want to do that. It's honestly the worst Slayer task. So much risk with so little reward. Ah. Oh. That actually scared me. I thought I was getting attacked. Come on. Alright. We'll get one more kill and that's about it. Definitely just skip these Slayer tasks. Not worth it. Not worth the risk, not worth the drops. But. But if you need the song for your codex, you gotta do what you gotta do. So if you got a gold accumulator, it will automatically pick up your coins. Well, 90% of your coins. The permanent one, that is. 
Okay, people have been alerted. And with that, I think I'll just uh, call it a video. Thanks for watching. Hope you had a great day. Be sure to like, subscribe, share with your friends, ring the bell, turn on all notifications. Leave a comment. Do you actually slay lava strike worms? Until next time. See ya.